and another one, totally different, using somebody's um, illustration. Another one. So many of these have these very strong black and white photographs and then the type that pops against it. Chicago Live. So this is sort of nice because you get all of these images kind of in a grid from Chicago and then it's kind of nice that Chicago is right across the middle a uh, red on a black band very thick thick sans serif type and then live is white right on top of it you have to be able to read the name of the play movie whatever it is when and where you can see it easily another one so this feels creepy doesn't it I mean you, you have to to get that mood across. Cyrano. So a big theme in Cyrano is that Cyrano has this huge nose and that he feels unattractive and um, so you get this great profile of him. This was done by a student. I just thought that some of the, it was interesting. You can you can use a font, type these letters, and then if you outline them, you can pull the N up like this or add to it. Here's another one. This is for a band. So you've got, you know, the date up here, you've got the name, and then where it is and when and how to get there. Equus. So this is a, a very strong play and and this image which is obviously photoshopped the man to horse um, just speaks for itself and you've got Equus by and then the name frogs so this is using an illustration and then probably hand drawn type or painted high school musical totally different feel uh, and the, the background is completely masked out. A very strong image, these two guys, or the same guy, Tristan and Isolt. These aren't, okay. And this is kind of, I don't know that this is done so well, but it's just sort of this surreal image with this eye in the middle the mandate. A minute too late. So this is a great photo. Um, this guy just sort of jumping over the casket. And everybody so just staring straight ahead. Completely different feel. Not about nightingales. So this looks like uh, layered images, probably done in Photoshop. Power, Nick Deer, a very strong image, and this is this is a, a great use of sort of positive and negative space. You can see that white space in between. If there was too much white space, the photograph wouldn't work very well. Singing in the Rain. Nice bright color here and an image from from the musical. It's hard to have this much text and make it look good so they've decided to center everything and I can see that they've put sort of like a little dot in between pieces of information just to break it up so that you don't just have a big old paragraph on the bottom but you're breaking up names, times with a dot. This is one of those uh, designs from the Blue Note album cover era. Buffalo Band. And I love how it's right justified. And you've got this all uppercase white, white type against this uppercase which is much smaller and not bold. Another kind of Blue Note looking this looks like a, a CD or an album cover 
This is using a serif type, and this is a very modern serif type. This is a very thin to thick, and it's nice how it changes. So on the on the black, it's white, and then over here, it's black, and then it goes back to white again. Really feels like that, like you're there. Great one. The colors here are really beautiful. We've got the black, and then the blue, and then the yellow coming right from his hands. And this is just a... Uh, it's just very in the moment. Look at his expression and then this guy as well. Let him roll. Thelonious Monk. So this is all type and um, not a photograph, but looks like an outline of an image. But again, you've got the name, town hall, date, and it's nice and clear. Here's another one. I love these J's. Got the image. J.J. Johnson, Volume 2. This is for a concert. Totally different feel. This looks like maybe it was hand-drawn. And then you've got the cursive here. The AND is a sans serif type and white. And then see how these are broken up with that line? line, line. All those details are important. The rakes, got that funny kind of handwritten typeface. Ben folds. This looks like it's completely hand-drawn. And again, you've got that Thursday, April 22nd, 8 p.m. Vets Auditorium. This one is just very cool. I don't know how this was done, but it looks like a big, huge poster. It almost looks like some kind of a print. Very clever, the Dirty Lungs CD release party, so this looks like a cigarette package. The Handsome Furs kind of has that retro feel by using this off-white kind of cream paper and then you've got the brown and the blue. And this is an advertisement for Heineken Jammin' Festival. And as you can see it's making a glass of beer. And you've got the white, or not the white, the light that's coming down. It looks like the foam of the beer. And I do not know how this was done. I'm sure Photoshop had a part in it. There are probably some um, copying of some of these little people to make it even, but it looks amazing. Lady Tron. So this is a completely different feel of music so that you want to use a, a different font for this, which looks kind of electronic. And then you've got the glowing blue dot here. Liz Fair. Instant Litter, concert posters from the Seattle punk culture. So yet a different feel because this, this would attract a different crowd. But look at this guy, this kind of creepy guy, and you have the ultra, ultra Xeroxed look so that the color is almost gone from the image. And these sort of strange posters in the background, these look like they're kind of ransom note letters cut out. And you've got this type, which is angled, and then this looks like it's ripped paper. Weird Al Yankovic. Got the funky hair. Completely different, right? The man, the music, the legend. Um, so you've got the black and white, or actually this looks like a sepia tone photo with centered type. And then this is Mark Knopfler, and it's at the Greek Theater in Berkeley. And um, so these beautiful images. This looks like, like a print. It's a beautiful image. That's a mistake in there. And then these are some, this is a movie poster, After School. The B movie. So this had some 3D program. Blindside. 
it's important when you're designing to really look at other designers work really good designers work there's so many different posters out there here's an example of an educational information poster and so something like this there's hierarchy is really important because you are having to show people so much information to learn about something they have to know what to look at first so you have sort of the title or what they're learning about and the constructivists and then you've got a paragraph of information exhibition and then some information like a time chart here's another one this includes lots of fascinating historical photos as well as a map it's very hard to put this much information together and and make it palatable for people here's one on the plant kingdom so I like how there are the photographs and then you have type underneath this is Edward Tufte and he is an expert in the presentation of information graphics look him up absolutely remember this name he there he has these four books out maybe more by now and um, he's just the the expert here's an example any of this things like the Moscow tube color-coded how do you get around maps um, he's done so much work like this mapping the blogosphere and they end up being such interesting graphics in themselves the dark edges show reciprocal links the lighter edges indicate reciprocal links it's just worth it. look up Edward Tufte so here this is a type poster this is an informational typeface poster on the designer of Gil Sands Eric Gill so we've got his picture information about him what the typeface looks like this is an example of really bad design so I really wanted to put this in here don't do this this is often what beginning designers do they use every kind of embossing of type um, images over the people you can't really read this these images are I get I don't know who they are maybe they're people that are in this I don't know they're they're so um, feathered the edges that you can't even see who they are this isn't bad this is alright on the bottom so you do not need to use um, lots of embossing and swooshy type and don't squish the type and lots of um, shadows you can stay away from most of that and simplify here's another bad one not as bad as the last but you can tell when something looks very amateur you don't need to outline this type here this is embossed and outlined that's not great so what you're gonna do is design a poster for a play concert or any other production of your choice and the audience will be whoever the audience would actually that would actually view this performance so starting today you'll choose your poster event you'll write a document with the information about this event when where show times if you have directors or musicians the name of the event is it put on by a school or club have some sketches if it's a play find a short synopsis um, this we don't have so don't look at this DVC jazz thing <laughs> so or the poster due at the end of the class don't worry about this on the bottom for now oops here it is for now just start to get your information together about the poster is it a movie is it a is it a concert is it a redesign of a movie poster and when where show times all of this stuff get that together and then look at the poster document for the project on web CT